Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Fenerbahce against Besiktas. I'm Peter Drury, and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Fenerbahce have elected to go 4-3-3. Yeah, it allows for an expansive passing game, and with everyone doing their job properly, it can be difficult to contain. Got things on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man, and he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Tries a through ball. Shana Erkin looking to get on the end of this. That wasn't the greatest of balls. And that's another throw. And it's Valbuena. He's left his man. Valbuena. Valbuena to live. Gets up to head it. No, oh, not the best of headers. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Oh, no wonder he's turned away in disgust. I think I would have too. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Topal. <laughs> Tries to stroke it through. He's had a goal! Goal! Bersitas! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Besiktas take the early advantage. Ayu just brushed off the ball there. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Oh, 
Neustetter spreads it towards the left. Valbuena delivers. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Cuts it out. There's been quite a few crosses coming in from that left-hand side. Look, it's the width that's providing this momentum and, and they look set to further exploit. Fenerbahce need to respond pretty quickly now to, to snatch this momentum back. Shana Erkin knocks it away. Fenerbahce have been pretty good down that left side, you know. Valbuena. Clearly looking the key component now with the concentration on width. Well, the defence have two choices, deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Ayu, all swung in. That intervention was very necessary. Now the pass. Ayu's cross, great leap! He will be livid with himself. Neustetter. Valbuena. He's on a run down the left wing. Goes wide. Hit into the middle. Decent clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Ayu looking to get on the end of this. And he's there to cut it out. Lens looks to slip it through. He's through the Lyic. Could move up a gear here. He's played him through. Mattel. Lyic tries lifting it over. Let's put a stop to that. Ball. Gokan Gonu passes it through. Valbuena. Looks like a good ball through. Vida. And it's Torre. Looks to slip it through. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Ayu. He's got away. Hits it! Another fruitless header. Ben and the first 45 minutes are up. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Fenerbahce need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Towering header! Oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. All driven towards the far post. And that's out of reach.
Gokan Gonu plays it forward. Osjakup. Nayic plays it out to the wing. Chania Erkin. Aimed long and direct. This is promising. Hoists it high. It's Lyic! Good effort first time. Yeah, quick thinking and the right choice for me, but that was difficult to get right. That's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Valbuena, lovely feet. Forward it goes. Now it's Lenz, gets it back. And it's Ayu. He's got it on the right now, what's on? There's the delivery, in with a header! Really well taken goal! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. certainly made things interesting. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. Chana Erkin. Majic gives the ball through. Chana Erkin is desperately calling for it out wide. Chance to break. In towards up for a header. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his his high-class wage. Tete gets it away. Gokan Konu tries to get it forward quickly. Going through. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. And it's Valbuena. Shakes the shoots. And that's caused a worry or two. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Kokan Koru looks to clip it forward. Osha Krupp. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Tries a through ball. He's got away. Slimani is on. Has a hit! Tremendous from Slimani! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! showed real composure then, I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick.
Fenerbahce get themselves into the lead. And they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Now it's Ayu. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? And it's also cook. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads. Well, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And that's going to be a booking. Well, some of them are letting their emotions get the better of them. They don't want to inflame this any further. Oh, look, Peter, what they need now are, are cool heads and discipline, and instead it looks like they've got a liability in their side. Osha Cup! Topal. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Hits one! That is wayward. Valbuena really drove at the heart of that defence. Incisive, quick, but not clinical. Who's he going to play in? Shanna Erkin battles to win it back. Passes it through. Now it's Ayu. Fenerbahce probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. He's left his man. Gets wrestled off the ball. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Osjokov, Toure, now the pass, now it's Osjokov. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Fenerbahce, winners after an absolutely outstanding game, fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind, made it happen and won. Well, how will we look back on that? Fenerbahce made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are all.